one thing that, that can be achieved, and I think it's a realistic target, is to improve levels of uh, stock of human happiness. Um, I, I would endorse, I think, what the Minister said in his speech. In particular, we need to reflect on uh, the symptoms as uh, exhibited in the Brexit vote. For me, uh, somebody who actually, although works in the private sector, although I'm here representing the Institute of Welsh Affairs, um, I think we have to take a really hard and critical view of the types of support available in Wales for supporting businesses. And here is a principle, and I really would like to emphasise this. The principle is, businesses listen to people who are in business, or have been in business. Of course it's about much more than just supporting firms, no matter how important that is. It encompasses a whole range of things, including, not least, probably one of the most difficult, which is changing cultural and other attitudes towards the role and nature of the economy. With the performance of the Welsh economy relative to the rest of the United Kingdom was such that it was the point at which average income a member of the population in Wales was closest to the average income for the entirety of the UK. And what that tells us is for the last 120 years there has been a growing divergence between average income in Wales and the rest of the United Kingdom. Now, economists may quibble about the accuracy of that, but there is a fundamental pattern which shows the relative underperformance of the Welsh economy. If, at a minimum, that trend can be arrested and then over a longer term actually reversed, I think that would show substantial signs of an evidence of progress.